What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit, this is your host and personal buffoon, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash I do work here lady. This story's called, Mom Comes to the Rescue. So a bit of backstory. I normally live away from home to attend college, but during the winter break, I head back home to spend time with my family. During that time, my mom's art organization that she runs hosts a big holiday festival from Black Friday till Christmas Eve. Basically, they get a ton of artists together where they set up stalls in large rented building and sell Christmas gifts and artwork. It's not a huge deal, but it is important to our local community. Most of the artists are retired, so events like these give them something fun to do and can supplement their income. Plus, unlike a regular market where every stall sells their stuff individually, they have one checkout area like you'd find in any other store that's run by my mom and her employees. This way, the artists don't have to sit around all day. Just drop off their stock in the morning, then pick up their payments at the end of the festival. On top of all this, it's by far the most profitable event for my mom for the entire year. Most of her yearly income comes from this event. The majority of the year, they run a small one-room art gallery, so you can see why it's a big deal to them. So being the good son I am, my mom will involuntarily enlist me in helping her out when I'm home. When I was younger, it was mostly things like helping move stuff around and packing up after the festival had ended. But since I'm a legal adult now, she gave me the task of patrolling the area in a sort of loss prevention type deal. We still had a security guard at the front entrance, so I was there to mostly let potential thieves know that we were still around keeping an eye on things as well as help customers. Note, I do not know the entire ins and outs of my mom's job. I do know that it is a non-profit, but I have no idea how it all works. I can only explain it as I did. This story occurred during the last winter break, 2019. I had started my day off normally. I showed up at my usual time and my mom gave me their uniform. All it was was a red vest with the group's name and logo on it as well as a name tag. Two things to note about this. I was the only male member out on the floor that day besides a security guard, and I was younger than everyone else too, the employees being around the same age as my mom. On top of that, they were all given black wool sweaters as a gift from one of the artists. It wasn't a requirement to wear one, but they all did to be nice. I, on the other hand, just had normal jeans and a blue hoodie underneath the vest. I went about my shift, as usual, everything was quiet and only had to help out a few customers here and there. After a while, I noticed an older woman had been there watching me for a while. After a moment or two, I remembered that she was the wife of one of the artists participating in the festival. I guess she had stopped by to see how things were going and might not have recognized me. A few minutes later, she approached me and this is how the event plays out. I will not be naming her Karen because that's my grandma's name and she's lovely. Instead, let's call her Crazy Lady. Excuse me? What are you doing? Oh, sorry ma'am. I was just making sure everything's okay at the stall. I doubt it. I've seen you walking about all suspicious-like for a while now. I think you're trying to steal something. In my head, I'd realized that she didn't think I worked there. I was about to respond when she grabbed my sleeve and started pulling me towards the main entrance. I'm taking you to security. I don't trust you being around my stuff. Note, it was her husband's stall, not hers. Holy crap, I thought. She's doing my job for me. I decided to go along with it because I wanted to see how it went. Plus, there was no way she could have pulled me at all, so I went willingly. As we were heading to the security guard, we of course passed by the checkout area. Of course, all of the employees knew me, especially my mom. Duh. They were all too busy, however, taking care of customers, so they were unable to help me out. So we just kept walking as they gave me raised eyebrows and confused looks as we passed. We got to the security guard, who, of course, also knew me. I caught this boy looking like he was going to steal something. I want him removed from the area and banned from the festival. Oh, um, ma'am, I'm not sure I understand what you mean. He works- Don't give me that crap! I want to see the manager! This led to a few minutes of the security guard trying to calm her down, while I just stood there in astonishment. Finally, the defeated and even more confused security guard looked at me and asked, Do we need to call your mom over? Crazy lady spoke up, unaware as to what he meant. Yes, 
please do. I want him to leave immediately. Security guard then called out for my mom using her name. No response. He then tried again, this time using the radio, getting a broken and unrecognizable response back. I was getting tired of this old lady staring daggers at me, so I decided to try using the method all children know is their get out of jail free card. I yelled out, MOM! A few moments later, she comes rushing over, obviously annoyed about being pulled away from the busy checkout, but concerned cause her mom instincts have probably kicked in. What OP I- Finally! Mom's real name? I found this boy shoplifting! I want the police called and have him banned from the store! Mom looked at me, then back at her with a very annoyed face. I later learned that she has to deal with crazy ladies crap all the time. Apparently, the husband is a lot nicer, though. Why would my own son try and steal from the place he's working at and his mother runs? Understanding finally dawned on Crazy Lady's face as she frantically looked back and forth between us. Now that we were standing next to each other, it was pretty obvious that we were related. Trying to gain the upper hand, she stammered. Then why is he not wearing the uniform? If he's working here, he should be easily recognizable. Mom began explaining to her the policy for our uniform and went into great detail of how by causing this disturbance, she was preventing not only I, but my mom and security guard from doing our jobs. Crazy Lady just continued to look more and more defeated as mom ripped her a new one telling her how it wasn't her personal store and it wasn't her job to police what went on here regardless of whether or not her husband's products were there. After this, she turned to me with a much nicer face and told me that I was welcome to take my break. After getting permission to leave, I turned and headed towards the back to tell my younger brother who was hanging out back there what had happened. Continuing to hear her explain to Crazy Lady how this business was run as I left kind of anticlimactic, but it is one of the many occasions that I've had I do work your lady moments while helping my mom out. My guess is it's due to the age differences between myself and the normal staff and the fact that I only occasionally help out. I have a few more good I do work your lady moments, so I might post them in the future if this gets enough attention. Thank you for reading. You're welcome, kind sir, because everyone on Reddit, every single person on Reddit knows that it is a rite of passage to be read on a uh, daily dose of Reddit. <laughs> you're proven your worth, your salt, or you've proven your salt, or you've, you like salt, however that expression goes, <laughs> as a Reddit user. Obviously, I'm joking. Some of y'all need to be told that I'm joking because I swear I can say like the most obviously jokey stupid things and people think I'm being seriously stupid. I know I say some actual stupid things, but y'all need to learn how to pick between this, the stupid jokes and the actual stupid statements. Like that whole intro gag where I was like, I don't know what that song with the piano man's called. I knew it was called Piano Man, you silly, silly people. All right, this story's called, How Did You Even Get In? Okay, to straighten things out, I'm an 18-year-old photographer part-time with my own photography business. It's very small, by the way. People would usually hire me off the streets because I took photos in and around London during the nighttime, and it was a massive hobby and a way for me to build up my portfolio. From doing this, I have gained jobs at multiple clubs that hire me for their events, and if they couldn't pay me a full set price, I would always be offered some sort of compensation. One of these clubs I work at already has a photographer, but he comes in a few hours after opening. He knows me well, as I usually stick around for an hour or two when he starts a shift. At this club, thankfully enough, the owner gives his employees a club employee card, which on shift can get you free soft drinks, and off shift, up to three free alcoholic drinks, which gets put into a tab. I've been working at the club for about two months on my spare time from my main job, and I've gotten really friendly with most of the staff, even the bouncers who will let me through the front door without question, even when I'm just there for a casual night out. The manager knows me quite well as I return the SD card, he provides to me at the start of the night and I return it the next day or week depending on how long it takes me to edit the photos, basic Photoshop and adding their watermark. Okay, now that is out of the way, this one night I was returning to the club to drop off said SD card. Unfortunately, the manager was out at the time of my arrival. The bouncers let me in, as usual, and gave me the same indication that if I had any issues, to give them a shout. 
Anyway, I am sitting at the bar getting a drink whilst I wait and walking around as I get a text from the other photographer saying he's going to be running late and asked if I could cover him as he knew I'd be here tonight. Truth be told, I don't mind doing that as it means more money in my pockets. He instructed me to where he left the work camera owned by the club itself, so I headed to the back room to pick up the equipment required as I'm rummaging around the office. A woman, I'd say in her mid-30s, comes in and shouts at me asking why I'm in here and that customers aren't meant to be here. I calmly reach into my pocket to show her my employee card, unfortunately it doesn't have my picture on it, only my name, and because I never need to show my ID entering this club, I don't bring it with me. Carrying my passport is not something I like to do, and since I don't drive, that's my only form of ID. This woman, as we all know and love, shall be known as Karen. She grunts at me, yanking the card out of my hand. After reading the title, Photographer, she shouts at me, saying the club only has one photographer and grabs me by the arm, with her nails digging into me. I exclaim to her that James, the other photographer, was running late and that I'd cover for him. She yelled at me as she tried dragging me out, saying it's his fault, he's gonna get fired, not mine. He can't just ask any random kid to cover for him without the manager knowing first. Now, myself personally, I'm an introverted extrovert, so I can either be very bad in social situations or be the center of attention in the room. Depending on the situation, I also had a bit of an anger problem when it came to confrontation. As Karen escorted me to the exit, I exclaimed, I worked here part-time every weekend and the manager can't agree with me. She yells at me saying the manager isn't dumb enough to hire a child. She threw me out, completely ripping into my skin as she threw me. The bouncers went to help me up when she turned to them, saying, Do your damn job right and don't let a child in. She left and the bouncers were loving it, laughing at me, calling me a kid. We were all laughing at this point, thinking she was just crazy. I waited with the bouncers as James came to a shift shortly after, so did the manager. He noticed some blood on my arm and asked who did this, and I told him everything, including how he wouldn't be so stupid to hire a child such as myself. He laughed and we went back to the club. We entered the office and I explained the photos this week will be short as I didn't get to cover for James, and then I gave him last week's portfolio. We laughed it over and went to the bar to get a drink on the house as an apology and later discussed with Karen about me. Turns out, Karen had to be let go due to her unacceptable behavior treating a fellow employee and customer. Apparently, even if I was a customer, she had no right touching me in general and is meant to call security to escort me out. I don't work at that club anymore, but I do go there for drinks the odd time and the manager always refers to me as a kid anytime I'm visiting. Edit, since I left out Karen's justification. I wasn't there for her firing process, but according to the manager, she exclaimed I should be wearing a uniform and have my ID on me. I didn't need a uniform since it's easier to get in the moment photos when people don't realize I'm taking a photo of them, makes for a more genuine moment rather than forced. Secondly, I apparently pushed her aside as I entered the back room and she decided to use force herself. Honestly, that sounds like a really chill place to, to be working, especially as an 18-year-old. Jeez. It's so weird thinking of 18-year-olds having jobs like this and going to clubs and drinking. When I was 18, I was basically like a 15-year-old, okay? I literally had no semblance of maturity. And in the UK, people go out and get drunk legally. <laughs> People do that here too at 18, but it's not very legal. Anyways, great story with very little punctuation, but I guarantee um, this OP Reddit person thing looks back on these bar experiences fondly, as I would. Let's see, after I graduated high school, um, I screwed around for the summer, then in August I went to Pakistan um, so I can do medical school there, it's a lot quicker, and so I was supposed to come back like in four to five years with my medical degree and, uh, you know, be a doctor. However, that didn't happen. I got sick really bad like a couple of times and almost died, but that's a story for another day. All right, this story's called, You Wanna Speak to the Supervisor? While in college, I worked as the escalated transfer supervisor at a call center for a large Canadian pizza chain. The name? Pizza, eh? <laughs> Anyways. One New Year's Eve, it was so busy in the call center that the customer service department started taking orders to ease the traffic myself included. Suddenly, I get connected with Karen, 
Before I even have a chance to speak, she is already irate and rude. Why in the hell was I on hold for 30 minutes? I apologize for the wait, but it's New Year's Eve and everyone in the country is ordering pizza. That is unacceptable. I demand to speak to a customer service agent. I can transfer you if you'd like, but I'm in the customer service department and can talk to you about your complaint. Like hell you are! Transfer me to customer service immediately! Okay, but due to the busy day, you may be on hold for a while. I said no! So I added her to my customer service queue, which was 20 calls deep. After 30 minutes, she is up. Hi, you've reached company name, customer service. My name is OP, how may I help you? I was on hold for 30 minutes waiting! Hold on, wasn't I just speaking to you? Yes, ma'am. This is outrageous, I insist on speaking to the manager! Absolutely, please hold. And add her to my queue once again. Now keep in mind that the escalated transfer supervisor, me, is the final stage of customer service and I hold all the power. I continue to take orders for another 25 minutes or so, then pick up Karen's call. Hi there, you've reached OP. I believe you asked to speak to a manager. How can I help? You're the manager too? Yes, ma'am. Y- you see, because it is so busy, I have been taking calls all day to ease the traffic and make things run a little quicker. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting for over an hour. I did tell you that I could help you when I took your initial call. You did? Would you like me to take your order now? Yes. It was so satisfying to let all the air out of her like that. I've been waiting for a story like this. Simple, funny, satisfying, not overly cocky, just good. This is like a Reddit story poster child, or at least for this subreddit. Like if Reddit was like Super Mario Maker 1 or 2, it doesn't matter. Why am I? Anyways, um, like this is the kind of level they'd show off in promotional material. Heck, it could be even a freaking official Nintendo level. Just the polish, just so polished. I know I usually save rating stories for like when they're like insane, over the top, crazy, like 45 pages long. Honestly, plus ultra, this is good. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.